Hello and welcome back to the another video of email automation. And in upcoming three videos, we are going to see different ways of sorting the emails and filtering the output emails. We will be performing these operations using Microsoft Mail Message Class properties. So in this video, we are going to focus on sorting emails. Let's get started. So this is my last program in this email outlook automation and here we are looping on the inbox and saving the attachment on a path if you are interested in this program you can pause the video here and you can see the code but i will just copy the code from here and add a new file python sorting and just paste the code here so if you see we are putting this condition here i will delete this condition first of all and we are not performing any other action we are just seeing that are we able to filter the are we able to get the shorted result or not so i will delete this now and i will align this code here so i hope you are aware that anything that is starting from hash is a command that is not considered a python code in this line of the code we are storing all the mails in the inbox folder of this outlook account if you have only one account default you can use this line also and you can comment this line or you can delete this line you have to use any one of these now we have the uh, all the items and we have stored those items in a variable now in this variable we will apply the shorting now on this variable we will apply the sorting here i will uncomment this part of code so i am sorting through received time let me put one more comment here true is descending and false is ascending okay. i'll just put enter here so that you can clearly see the code we don't need this import os now Now let's run and see. So if we go and check the first email, that is the oldest email in my mailbox. When I set set up the new Google account and I got the welcome email in 2020. Today we are in 2023. Now, if you just turn it to true. We will see a change that the first email is the latest email let's see in my mailbox if this is the latest email or not so you can see right now this is the latest email in my mailbox i hope you understood the sorting the outlook emails by received time Shorting the Outlook email by receive time is very important because it is always a good practice to short the email by receive time before you are accessing the Outlook mailbox. Now let's see the same thing by name. And these are the properties of uh, Outlook mail items. So I will uncomment this line now. I will come down, I will run and let's see the sender name. The sender name is not here. I will just so this is the property only you can copy from here dot sender name let's run now so you can see the sender name is true so it is in descending order and now let's see so you can see the y which is the last letter in the in the alphabets is picking up from there now if i will turn it to false it will start from a let's run this and see so you can see here first it has picked up the numerical users those users which are starting from a digit and then if i come down is starting from a and then same alphabetical order it is following so i hope you understood both how to sort by received time and how to sort by sender name you can apply more properties and you can use the subject also here and 
based on the subject it will short so i will leave that to you for doing the exercise please hit the like button to support my channel and share your feedback in comment pause the video here to have a look on the code i will see you in the next video how to filter mailbox